to the 3ds Max news, guys. In the month of October, we had a lot of news regarding 3ds Max. Let's just start with USD. 3ds Max has a USD importer, but right now it's on beta, and you can download it independently. It's done by the 3ds Max developers themselves. Until now, we could import and export USD file formats. But now, on this 0.3, what we have is the OSL stage. OSL stage, it allows us basically to reference external OSL. You don't need to import anymore all the geometry into 3ds Max, manipulate it and export it again. You simply are referencing it and you can change materials, you can do a small change and stuff like that. Chang Soe Eun has some videos that you can see on the background and for a very detailed explanation of what it is USD and what we can do right now in 3ds Max, show also post a long post with a video very nicely explaining everything available right now. It's cool to see that in 3ds Max now we have the 3ds Max, we have the 3ds Max updates, but as well we have the updates of Arnold that goes independently and the updates like USD that it goes as well independently. So we have more and more news uh, non-stop. Chaos released Corona 9. It comes with a similar cloud system that we saw in V-Ray, but also it's adding plane trails that I think it's pretty cool that give even more realism to the skies. We have Corona Pattern that allows to multiply a mesh pattern over other geometry like a texture and offers compatibility with Chaos Scans for very great quality materials. Fish Eye Cameras now support Depth of Field, Shutter Cube for Motion Blur, plus way more improvements and fixes. There are as well modifications on the licensing. Now, two rental plans are available. Corona Solo includes both Cinema 4D and 3ds Max plugins locked to a single computer and it costs 48 euros or a complete year for 322 euros. A new license option is called Corona Premium and offers floating license for Corona plugins for 3ds Max and also Cinema 4D, including also Phoenix, Chaos Player and Chaos Scans. The Corona Premium costs 59 euros a month or 418 euros for a complete year. Sebas Technologies released Final Fluid 1. For the first time, 3ds Max received a real-time fluid solver. You will need an NVIDIA graphic card with at least 4 gigs of RAM, and you get real-time smoke and fire in your scene. It's very cool, I have been trying it, and yeah, you can get all these results that you can see here real-time with an RTX 3080, uh, but depending what you get, yeah, it's really fast. The first version comes with support for 3ds Max particle systems, it supports P-Flow, Tie-Flow and Thinking Particles, where you can emit and control the fume effect simulation per particle. You can control things like temperature, fuel and things like that, totally procedurally for each particle. Supports as well for deforming meshes, accurate collisions and emission from maps. It makes a very smart use of memory, allocating simulation blocks dynamically only where they are needed, and you can render Final Fluids directly using Final Render or V-Ray or Arnold, or you can export the simulation using VDBs. The beta version has been also updated to this 1.00, and you can try this beta version for free, even for commercial products. An awesome new product, very excited to have more fluid systems and real-time in 3ds Max. KS Studio presented a new version for Fusion, and with this, this plugin can do way, way more things than before. Now, you can create more complex geometry by linking objects together with various conditions, and additionally, you can fasten objects together, distribute or stretch between each object or vertex corners on the spline. We had the Roy modifier in 3ds Max that it's great, but if you need to do more things or more complex stuff using splines for distribution, Fusion is a very powerful plugin for these kind of things. Fusion as well comes with curl lips for creating shape objects like open and close, flat or 3D elliptical or circular spline helix. Also using curl lips you can create end-gone shapes with a lot of options. Curl lips is included together with Fusion plugin or a standalone for $4. AXYZ presented version 5 of his popular population system of characters called Anima 5. The most popular way to add life in your 3ds Max scenes now supports proper motion blur, really important. The scan for the models that has all these facial expressions and close deformations now are possible to be used on a human working tool to give them a path to move around. There is as well a new crowd generation system based on neural networks that has been trained with AI 
and offers a much more natural crowd behaviors. You have the option to acquire Anima in a perpetual license or get Anima All. It's a subscription-based system where you will be able to download a limited number of characters. Joker Martini created a Slice and Dice, a very cool name, and it allows you basically to a slice or create more organic uh, breakings, kind of like if it's good breaking, rocks breaking. It has some automatic features, it supports 3DS Max 2018 or later, and it costs $10. FumeFX keeps showcasing new features for the upcoming FumeFX 6 release and also tutorials. You can see, for example, on these two tutorials, one is how to emit fire and smoke from an animated objects, and these animated objects are uh, simulated as well with FumeFX, or how to create collective crowd behaviors with these new tools. Domestica published different discounts for the end of the month. Now it's already gone. Uh, but for that, it's important that you check my website where I am updating when I found this type of things. I add promotional codes and every time that I have a new that is important, it's there. So check it out frequently because I am posting more and more. In Black Friday, there will be a lot of discounts and I will post on my website the discounts for Domestica tutorials and for other tutorials that I found around. And our favorite section, 3ds Max, is only for Archbeef, where we post things done in 3ds Max, not necessarily done for Archbeef. And we start very strong because we had the Rings of Power. The Rings of Power is a very popular series, I would say the most popular from this year, based on Lord of the Rings World. And on this making off for the series titles, we can see how they shoot some practical effects, but you will see that some stuff it was not practical, was CG, and there is a very familiar UI where you can see that all these 3D elements were done with 3ds Max and Typeflow. Last month we saw ILM doing some cool stuff for the environments and it was a surprise to see it also used for the titles. Unit Image is a very cool CG house that I love what they do and they usually use 3ds Max and they present this fantastic trailer that is Garena Free Fire Double Trouble and it's a free-to-play mobile battle royale and yeah, awesome trailer, super high quality, like all the stuff that they do on Unity Image. Environment Foliage Artist at NIX created Meadows at Dawn that is a realistic environment done in Unreal Engine 5. According to the project description, the scene was made using 3 d Max, Substance, 3 d Designer and Unreal Engine 5. Stefan Hampel created this nice environment for the KB3D challenge that he called it Minerva. It's a full CG environment done in 3ds Max and V-Ray and looks spectacular. Tiberio Popescu shared on a stack community in Facebook. Check it out because on a stack people showcase a lot of cool stuff done in 3ds Max and most of the stuff that you see here comes from a stack. And he created this detailed project model in 3ds Max. He mentioned on the post that he's very happy with all the updates on performance on the different modifiers that 3ds Max had lately, and also that he used a lot tools like Retopology and Typeflow modeling tools that was very good for this project, and yeah, very nice and super detailed uh, shoes, I think they are great. Featuring the new RTX 4090, they create this post on NVIDIA and they showcase the work from Pasquale Cionti that created this abandoned haunted mansion. He, it's done using 3ds Max, Adobe Substance 3D Painter and Unreal Engine 5. Cionti used Arnold Render with RTX accelerated AI denoising for interactive renders to see what was going on. On the post they talk about the vers versatility of Autodesk 3ds Max software supporting third-party GPU accelerated renderers such as V-Ray, Octane Render and Redshift, giving RTX owners additional options for their creative workflows. Obviously they are trying to sell RTX cars, but yeah, talking uh, good about all the options that we have in 3ds Max that we all know. Alfred Mathieu worked on the trailer for Warhammer 40,000 A Space Marine 2 and he created this uh, very nice and detailed three, three Space Marine uh, models. He used Retopology in 3ds Max to bring the low poly models from the game to a high detail version. He used then ZBrush for all the details, Mari for the texture, and all the rendering has been done in 3ds Max and V-Ray. 
Finally, we have a Steve Wilson that showcased the use of Typhlo to create this rich, frosty, detailed look for his car renderings. Where yeah, Typhlo can be used for a lot of things, for a scattering and this type of models, it's really good. So another example where 3ds Max, in combination with the plugins, can be used on multiple things. And that's all for the month, I hope that you like it, please subscribe, give a like, give a comment and share it with your friends. With my Patreons for the last month, I did two exclusive tutorials covering motion graphics with Typhlow, so if you are into that, I think that can be very interesting. And I present the first tutorial for my Patreons about Krakatoa, that will one video tutorial will be public for everyone, I guess at next week, but my Patreons already have it. And then there will be four extra tutorials covering Krakatoa, Magma Flow and Stock that re remember that now they are free. And yeah, if you want to be one of my patrons, all these people here are helping me doing these videos. It helps me a lot and I think I give quality content for everyone. So if you have any questions, you can ask me directly on Patreon. And yeah, love you guys and see you soon. Bye.